Hello, welcome to my unboxing or unpacking of the manufacturer refurbished LG V20 VS995 Titan colored uh, GSM unlocked Verizon cell phone from eBay seller Mobile Pros 1 uh, on eBay yeah they have currently have a 98.5 percent positive rating on eBay I bought this on the night of July 31st 2019 almost at uh, 11 p.m. and I received it today on August 3rd 2019 shortly before noontime via UP USPS with tracking uh, so this phone was released back in September of 2016 so it's very soon coming up to becoming three years old and it's still a very popular phone with a big fan following online even in 2019 uh, basically because it has a couple of at least a couple of features that a lot of current flagship phones nowadays do not do one is it has a removable lithium-ion battery most current smartphones these days don't do that and the other thing is it still takes micro SD cards up to one terabyte in size whereas a lot of modern smartphones don't even take memory cards anymore it's just built-in memory okay so now without further ado let's open this thing up and see what's inside so I know going in that I bought this manufacturer refurbished for $101.99 it is in the US the seller is in apparently in Maryland and uh, let's see they described it as excellent condition fully tested with light scuffs or scratch marks from handling and this the seller provides a 60-day seller warranty so it should be in a generic box See, probably scissors would have been better for this. Okay, so here we are. Make sure there's nothing else inside. Uh, so here is probably the packing slip. Oh boy, Mobile Pros One. I don't know if you can see that. That's the eBay seller, Mobile Pros One, and. Yep. Okay. Oh, so this is this is the generic box here. It's a LG V20 VS995. That's the Verizon uh, branded phone. 64 gigs. Color is Titan or gray. Um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so now we're just going to open it. Oh. Let's see what they think is excellent condition. Thank you. So it looks like this is something provided from the seller. You can see they talk about a 60-day warranty. Uh, returns, need help. Uh, Android product activation or Apple. For me, it's going to be Android. Uh, warranty and feedback and that's that here is the USB-C cable I don't know if it's ever gonna focus on that and this is the wall charger it connects to that huh. so yeah they're not even the same color uh, there's that power adapter 
model RWX-050210UU. Input is 100 to 240 volts AC current, 50 to 60 hertz, 0 0.4 amps max. Output is output total is 5 volts at 2.1 amps max. Made in China. And this is the phone itself. In some kind of bag. Let's see how this thing looks. Oh, comes with one of these. SIM card tray op opener or ejector. This is the back of it. Let me rip off the screen. Wow. I'm going to say that this looked pretty good. Hmm. How does it open? Oh man. So it's got a removable battery, but it's not that open, easy to remove the battery, I guess. I'm going to have to read the instructions on this one. It's a fairly thin phone. This is definitely thinner than my current phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy Note 4. But uh, this one is supposed to be a better upgrade. Probably the last phone that I can get that has removable batteries or takes micro SD cards. So, wow, it's a pretty phone. I'm definitely impressed with the screen. There appears to be nothing major on it, or even minor, I think. Yeah, just looking at it. Looks very good. Um, I guess I should. Sorry, I must apologize. Uh, my Note 4 phone had a battery in it that is failing because it has like massive battery swell. So the video part shut down in the middle of my recording on this video. So this is my continuation. Um, I accidentally found out that this is actually the power button right here. So if I push this button back here, it should turn on. So let's see what that looks like so LG I don't know if it stands for life's good or lucky giant but uh, it's a splash screen it says powered by Android and uh, we'll see what happens next so hopefully this thing is already factory reset and we just go through the motions of setting it up so there's the Verizon splash screen yeah, you see the carrier, the carrier brand of the phone comes on. This is at 67%. So now we just go through the setting it up. We're going to use Wi Fi. I'm going to pick my home network. I'm going to type in my password here. It's connecting to my network. Next. Welcome to your VS995. Copy your data or set up as new. Oh. I'm going to set it up as new. So there's the icon shows that there's no data, 66% charge on the battery, and there is Wi Fi. And I'm guessing that uh, symbol means that there's no SIM card. So I'm going to type in my Gmail account. And hit go. And the password. Bye 
<clears throat> I agree. In terms of service for Google, can't use your phone without accepting it. Set up my fingerprints. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with maybe a not code pattern pin or password. Pattern. I'm gonna go with the pattern. Nope. Set a pattern. Help apps find location. Blah 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 blah. I agree. Meet your Google Assistant. skip setting up email your phone is set up and ready to use blah, blah, blah. maybe you'll get to see what the desktop looks like with the icons set up from old device transfer old device later let me see uh, no sim found uh, I'll see home screen hmm well go back must be the back button S open programs okay tap to add the weather type in my later okay so it's got my address i mean my zip code the play store oh, da, da, da. So it looks like this one's pretty much set up. All I got to do now is uh, put in my SIM card and set up the APN and test it out. So that's pretty much my video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Oh, look at that. So that's the second screen on top that actually has my name in cursive. Pretty cool. Okay. Thanks for watching.